I decided to undergo a 100 day fitness transformation and make a vlog series about it. Currently I still wear kids clothes and at the end of 100 days I want to be able to fit into an adult small. This is not a how to guide but a vlog of my experiences. Each vlog covers 10 days of my journey. This is vlog number 5 covering days 41 to 50. I feel like I don't have control over very much in my life. And I wanted to do this transformation thing not so I could be buff, but so I could accomplish something and control something, I guess. Obviously, I didn't expect a lot of results at this point. And instead, I feel like I look the exact same as when I started. I need to look at my diet and my exercise plan and figure out what I'm doing wrong. But honestly, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because when I formulated what I'm doing now, I thought it was gonna work. I exercise 10 times a week. In the morning before work, I'll run on my janky elliptical. In the afternoon, I rotate. Day one, I'll do upper body. Day two, I'll do lower body. And day three, I won't do anything at all. I won't even run. I used to be really fit in the past, but I would focus more on cardio rather than weights. So this is uncharted territory for me. And honestly, I thought my plan was solid and I thought I was gonna be able to accomplish my goals with what I was doing. I feel like I'm not being as optimal as I could be, especially when compared to others that I see online, and that really freaks me out. If I'm being honest, I feel like the insecurities with how I'm doing come from me and me alone. I feel like if we just look at me after 40 something days, I've definitely made some progress for my day one picture, but I still look very similar to that day one picture. If I look online and I YouTube body transformations, I see these crazy transformations and I see a lot of them. But you don't really see a lot of people like me who are trying and doing their best and it's like not working as effectively. I don't know if I'm unrealistic or if other people's progress is unrealistic for my body. It's hard to know when you're doing this on your own, when you're silently comparing yourself to other people and when that comparison makes you feel insecure if you're doing everything right or not. I'm still very self-conscious of this little stomach that I have here. It's so small, honestly, but it just, I'm zeroing in on it. Like I see some definition in my arms and my legs. My face looks a whole lot. I don't know, my face looks different and I like it. But this thing, it is nothing, but it feels, it feels like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. I look like a lunatic standing shirtless in my room on the internet. What I've been doing to get me to this point, I do not feel like it's going to take me any farther. What I really need to do is find a new workout plan and find a new diet plan to finish out the rest of my 100 day transformation journey. I want to be as effective as possible and I do not want to miss this opportunity for myself. So I need to take a good hard look at what I'm doing, figure out what's working, what's not working, and come up with some other plan to move me forward past this point. I found a six day workout regimen with very specifically timed breaks of like 30 or 45 seconds between sets and I decided to use that. Six workouts a week is how I'm going to finish out this process. Hopefully this helps. Whereas figuring out a new exercise regime is straightforward, figuring out a new diet plan is a bit more complicated. In order to get buff effectively, you are supposed to focus on macronutrients. There's proteins, carbs, and fats. The number of calories you consume in a day, along with the percentages of each of the three macronutrient groups, have to do with what your specific goals are. Based on my body and what I'm trying to do, I'm putting certain things into macro calculators online, but I'm getting very different answers. I've decided to go with this because it's like the middle of the road and I don't know what the answer is. I found this site that has pre-approved good foods to eat, so I'm just going through. I have to figure out what's gonna actually work for me. So that's why I have to do this. It took me three hours, but I finally did it. I came up with a diet plan. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna to go to the grocery store, I'm gonna start making the stuff, and I'm also gonna start this new workout routine. This is the face of a dog that does not wanna go potty. Do you wanna go potty? Look at him, he's not interested at all. Come on, go potty, go, go, go on, go, go. Tippy is very difficult, he hates going to the bathroom. I just have to keep walking him around. Sometimes it takes like 10 minutes. Up, he's going, this is great. So today's been a weird day. We got a call around midnight last night that my uncle passed away. So I'm not gonna pretend like I was very close with him or anything, but 
it's still very sad and it really impacts more like my mom and my dad and um it's just been you know a lot today today's a sunday and my whole plan originally was to do a lot of research on saturday as far as like the diet and the exercise and start on sunday but i just kind of didn't do that today because i just felt like it would be kind of inappropriate so i guess i'll just keep doing what i've been doing for the next few days just be very present in this very real family situation there's really not much to say other than that so it's day 49 and i decided i'm just going to start the new workouts now and i do not yet have the groceries to do the whole eating part of this change i'm trying to make right now and honestly i don't want to go into the store when it's crowded i'll get the groceries it'll be fine but for now today i'm starting the workouts what i've been doing up until this point is alternating exercises back and forth back and forth until i'm done with both so i'm not wasting any time in between this exercise plan here i have it on my computer you do one thing you wait 45 seconds and then you do it again so this will be very different than what i've been doing hopefully it's just the change i need and i hope that it works so i'm doing the first exercise right now I'm sitting up after I'm done and I have to wait 45 seconds before I go again. This is definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But this exercise right here is weird. What is this? Thank goodness I'm not in public. Can you imagine me doing this in public? I don't think so. Yeah. Between every set, I'm just watching the clock. This is very tiring, I'm not going to lie. It's also the worst angle I've ever done. I've done some pretty bad camera angles. This is definitely pushing me, that is for sure. I think this is probably exactly what I needed. Finished the first workout. It only took 45 minutes and normally my weight training workouts take like an hour and a half. But it was pretty intense and I feel like I'm going to die a little bit. I think these will be good for my body and not for my soul. But that's okay, my soul will recover. I made it to day 50, day 50. I'm halfway through this. I can't believe it, you know? I just finished the second exercise in my new exercise regime, but I haven't started the diet thing yet. But I'll do that certain tomorrow. But to close this whole thing out, I have to do the push-up thing. I don't know why I chose push-ups. Like, I really regret that decision, but I have to go with it. I did 30, 30. 50 days ago, I could do six, and now I can do 30. That feels pretty good. I definitely have made some progress since day one. I'm excited to see if switching up my diet and changing my exercises will help me be more successful in the last half of this. I'm honestly proud of myself so far, and I can't wait to see where this goes.